Hey guys, um, today I was just playing with some templating stuff and uh, I wanted to look at how to do this kind of flow with your top and bottom shape dividers to get the flow of this middle section here following that shape. Uh, and there's a couple of ways you can do this, but uh, I just want to show you what I found the easiest way was. So I'm going to create a section and that section here, I'm just going to set my background. Oops. And maybe I'll just make this my primary color. And in that container, we're going to add some text, maybe a few other bits and pieces just to get some content in there. Duplicate the container, duplicate it again. I'm going to make this middle section white. Okay, and maybe we'll leave the little bottom as yellow as well, or as the Right, we, can, we can make this another color, but I'll just leave it as that. So it's nice and simple, right? So the, the shape divider on the top is really, really simple. So we just go to that section and add a shape divider of a triangle. Uh, and we're going to set that to be white. And uh, set the height to 7VH and align it to the bottom. Yeah, there's a little quirk here with bricks, so you, can, you can't quite see it there, but there's actually a line. It's like a half pixel, one pixel. It's really, really odd. So you can actually just add, so if you just added minus 0 0.5 or minus 0.5 px, it seems to solve the problem. Let's have a look at that in the front end. There it is there, actually it hasn't solved the problem. It's still there, so we need to go maybe minus one pixel. And let's have a look. And that solved the problem with that line. On the very edges, it does bring it down one pixel, which gives you a slight amount of clipping, but you can't notice it. It's far less noticeable than having a line going across the bottom of that. So that's the first thing is when you align your um, shape divide at the bottom, just add a minus one pixel off the bottom, uh, and that will drop it down so it doesn't have that weird line. Okay, now we're going to leave the middle section as it is. The bottom section, we're also going to add a shape divider, and we're going to use the same one. Just going to use that same triangle. Let's set that to 7VH as well. Okay. And then what we're going to do is set the top to minus 7VH. And you see it just disappears. Now, fortunately, there is an override in here for the overflow. What's actually happening is your shape divider is inside of a wrapper, which is set to overflow um, invisible or hidden, I should say. Uh, but there's a switch here. If you switch that off, then it doesn't hide the overflow. So now all we have to do is change the color to be the same as our bottom section. And there we go. We've got our overflow correct. Let's have a look at the top here. Now I can see here, I don't know if you can see in the video, there's actually a little line at the bottom there. So there's one more thing we need to do because we can't access it through the UI because we've used the UI here. We've used the UI to go minus 7VH there. Um, so now we need to actually target the wrapper. Where's the wrapper? Here is our shape divider. Set it there. That's our shape divider there. And then we've got the uh, inner in there. So I want to actually just target the shape divider wrapper. So this bricks shape divider. Come back to our test dividers here. Go to our CSS. We're still on the same section. Go to our CSS and target root shape divider. And we're going to set the top to 1px. And that's just going to push everything down one pixel from the top. And that's going to solve our problem. So you see here, now we don't have a line along the bottom here. So the takeaways from this is the top section with your shape divider. Um, you can, because you're just positioning that at the bottom of that section, um, you can just set the bottom to minus one pixel and that gets rid of that line that's left there. Um, but with the bottom section here, because we're using a uh, top shape divider so we're pushing this to the top of the section so it's aligned to the top uh, and we're using a minus 7vh to move it 
above um, above the section uh, what we then need to do is use CSS to tell it to push that whole thing down one pixel uh, so that's this here tell it to push the whole shape divided down one pixel uh, so that we don't end up with that weird line uh, at the bottom uh, and that's it and you might actually want to go into the section here and just add a little bit extra padding on the bottom of there whatever padding variables you're using so for example here you might just go to that section and I'm not sure what the padding is at the moment uh, what are we, 88 I'm not sure what it's using I think it might be a space uh, what are we space M L XL XXL, there we go. So space XXL is what it's on. Uh, we might want to use a calc, so we might do a calc uh, 7VH plus space XXL. And that way, there we get the consistency because what we're saying is we're going to use our normal spacing that we have in our in our section, but we're going to add this uh, height, so the 7VH we use for the divider, we're going to add that to the bottom as well so that looks right so let's have a look in the front end and refresh and we've got consistent spacing bottom and top well actually from the text to the top there and from that text to that bottom line there because this is actually sitting above the section hopefully that makes sense um, it's it's a pretty cool way to do it and um, there's only that one little caveat which is having to move things by one pixel uh, so you don't get any weird lines okay thanks for listening